How you doing, man? So what do we got here? Got a couple of old airplane parts for you guys. I don't know. Looks like a cone head prop to me. I don't know, man. What's the deal with you putting stuff on your head? I like helmets. <laughs> so it looks like these are airplane spinners that go over the propeller. Exactly. My buddies that found them told me they, they basically go on the front of the, the turbine, makes the plane more aerodynamic. OK. Yeah, these look like they probably would have been like 1950s or 60s, maybe like a smaller passenger plane or like something like a business executive style plane, because they're definitely not a commercial plane because right. they would be much, yeah, much way bigger. Too small. Yeah. I mean, they are cool, and I've made money off old propellers and stuff like that before. I just don't know if these spinners alone are worth anything or even usable. What are you trying to get out of them? Uh, I was hoping to get 750 for the three of them. Uh, I mean, Luca's here. You want to go ask him? Yeah, I can go ask him. So Luca is a friend of ours. He does some like art for us, and he helps us modify things. He lives in the area, so we invited him down. He might have an idea on what we could do with these. I'm going to go grab him. Go ahead. Here's what I wanted you to take a look at right now. Hey, what's up, Corey? What's up, Luca? Good to see you, man. Always a pleasure. I think these are called spinners. I'll agree with you. Probably came from a 1950s or 60s plane. They do look modified. There's a lot of holes in here, so it looks like somebody started a project and didn't finish it. So, Luca, what are you thinking we could do with these? Man, it's almost endless what we can do with them, guys. I'm thinking maybe we can turn them into lights or sconces. So you think you can work with these? Most definitely. I'm getting a good idea here, Big Hoss. If we are able to buy these, instead of selling these, we always get in the good graces of your dad when we give him a gift. And I think if we could figure out an idea to like fit these in to the style of this bar up at his Oregon house, these would actually look pretty cool in there. So we can give him a gift and make him pay for it. And he will still love it. So what do you think is safe to pay for something like this? Honestly, guys, with the condition they're in, it looks like somebody started a project that they didn't finish. So I think uh, with what we're going to have into it, I'd probably pay no more than $600 for these things. All right, well, what are you thinking? I mean, I wanted $750. He said somewhere around $600. That'd work for me. How about $300? Because he's not going to do this for free. I mean, $300 feels a little low. $600 feels a little high. What do you think, Big Hoss? And I don't think you have a place to sell them, so I think 400 bucks would be great. Yeah, I think I can make 400 work. All right, well, my cashier's over there. Um, Luca, it sounds like you got a job, man. <laughs> I'm only going to be here a few days. Can you get it done in that time frame? Yeah, we got a time crunch here to work with, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to get to work. I'll see you guys soon. Appreciate it. They'll get you paid up there. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Hey, Luca, what's up? Hey, how you doing, Rick? Surprise! We got you a gift. What is this? For your Rick Cave up in Oregon, your bar thing that you're building up there. I know how bad you wanted a picture of Pinky in your Rick Cave, so there you go. Pretty cool, huh? It is pretty incredible. Well, you know what's incredible is you should have saw the condition these things were in when Luca got them. You know what they are? They look like airplane spinners. Well, nothing gets by you, Rick. We were doing the research. It came from a 1960s plane, right? So in that era, it was always a thin pinstripe, multiple colors, but not too bright, not too bold. We did that to mimic that, and then I turned these into lights. And I'm excited because it came out great. That is a amazing way to repurpose some airplane parts. The best part is, this is from them to you. Thank you, guys. I really, really appreciate it. You're and welcome. We really got to go to another town. Thanks for helping me pack up. Yeah, I mean, it took you forever. What happened? There was a lot of stuff, and I had to do it by myself. Well, guess what? Your day's almost over. Just pack these up, and you'll be fine. I just got one more thing to pack up, Pops. Have a good night. Did you bring boxes? Just for the light bulbs. 